Welcome to season three of Perfect the Craft. And today we're going to be going over Hizaguruma or knee wheel. I'm Louis Hung, also known as Mustache Lou. This is my brother, Andy Niwaza. And today, we're gonna to be going over Hizaguruma or Knee Wheel. Hizaguruma is one of my favorite opening throws because it's a very safe attack, and it's also a very consistent attack if you follow through and do it the correct way. Today, we're gonna to go over three tips in order to add some power or some finish to your Hizaguruma. Hizaguruma, tip number one. A traditional hizaguruma is going to be done on the sleeve side. So the side I'm controlling my opponent's sleeve, usually that's the side that you're going to block. Or it's going to be done with a switch to the sleeve. Okay? For my first tip, I like to just do it off of the lapel. Why? When I'm controlling this person's lapel, I have major control over their body. So I can force them to take a step that they don't want to take. Or, if he's already stepping, I can cause him to go further than he wants to go. Very easily, because I have extreme body control over this person coming from the lapel side. So I like to attack the lapel side with my hizaguruma. And that's tip one. So a quick detail, when I pull on the lapel to make him take a step, I don't want my elbow to drop. I would rather keep my elbow high. So you see how I'm pulling him on a high line? I'm pulling him high here. My elbow guides him kind of up. I don't want to kill my motion by dropping my elbow down. Down is the finishing motion when I'm going for the throw and he's going over already. High line is the pulling motion. I'm going to force him to take a step with this front side foot. Hizaguruma, tip two. I want my foot to be really sticky when I do this throw. So it's going to stay where I put it. Once my foot makes contact with the front of his leg below his knee, it's going to stay there. I want you to imagine that it's like one of those sticky slap hands. Once it touches something, it stays there. Why? I want my foot to be there when he's forced to take that step. If my foot is not there, the throw is not going to happen. So as soon as I put my foot there, I leave it there until he's forced to take that step. And again, if that foot is not there when he takes that step, the throw is not going to work. So tip number two, make sure you got a sticky foot. Leave it where you put it. Here's a little detail on foot placement for Hizaguruma. It's not a kick or a chop that I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to prop my foot. And when I prop my foot, I want it to be on the front of his shin, right below his kneecap. Right in that spot, right beneath that kneecap. You should feel like a little bit of a meaty muscle on the front of that shin. That's where you want to be, and that's where you want it to stay. He's a good one. Tip three, finishing motion. I want to keep my elbow on this hand high until I actually start to drop it down for the throw. That's finishing motion lapel side. Finishing motion sleeve side, I actually want to get underneath his elbow. I want to angle the elbow up and eventually I'm going to get to a point where I'm levering it and pushing it over and down. So I'm guiding him from his elbow and I'm forcing his body into this Zempo Kaiten shape with both of my hands.
a small pointer on my finishing motion. I do not want to drop this elbow until I feel the person already starting to fall. You see in this position, if I drop my elbow, now I can no longer lead him forward. I want to keep my elbow high and lead him forward until I feel them to start going over my propping foot. At that point, I wheel down and guide the elbow over on the other side. All right, so let's go over the three tips just in sequence. Tip number one, instead of doing it on the sleeve side, I'm going to do it on the lapel side. So I'm attacking the lapel side leg. Number two, I want to prop my foot on the front of his shin, right below the kneecap, and I want it to stick there like it's a little sticky hand. Number three, when I go to finish the throw, I do not want to drop my lead elbow until I start to feel him angle over the throw, and I'm going to follow through by lifting his elbow and driving it over the throw. And there you have it. That's Hizaguruma. Hizaguruma is one of those throws that is really nice looking. So people are like, hey, is that a real throw? Is the person just falling down? Try it. You'll see that it really works. If you like this video, please subscribe to the YouTube page. And also, make sure you check out these beautiful IJF approved Adidas Judo Geese. This is Mustache Lou. See you guys next time.